we've got an A1 Devard Zilvermew here, the herring girl. No marks. Well, there's one mark on the whole tent. Let's, as usual, deal with that first. If I can find it, which I can't. Tiny splashes down there. This is a late Silver Mew. It's about a 2000. It's got a big wing, zip on canopy. Being a late tent, it's got the lovely sunburst canvas. And it is literally pristine. Unmarked. It's rather lovely. It's evening and I can hear the church bells down the road, which makes a change from traffic. All this perfect. Fly there. Another an ant there. Nothing on here at all. This tent had the occasion you get one under the catch on the bag. You have a little metal disc. They nearly always get lost when I see one of those. I think this tent has been cared for and this certainly has back to the big wing there it must be about two and a half meters wide at the bottom that can go either side of the entrance as i say we've got the square canopy here usual windows and mesh in the front brown sheet pristine on both sides lovely sort of glossy dark gray Looking in here, you can see a couple of tiny marks which aren't visible from the outside of the tent. There's one there, something up there, but all this absolutely amazing. And the mark of something on the top there, which you might be able to see with a drone. Um, screen door, the mosquito door there, the zips down in place of the left door on hot nights to keep the insects out and allow the fresh air to get in. Everything absolutely A1 with this tent. Beautiful, manageable four berth at about 24 kilos for the tent. Everything absolutely excellent. And then we've got a nice dividing curtain there. It goes across where the masts are to divide off the sleeping area. Hanging storage unit to go inside the entrance of the tent. Which matches the front of the tent. Again, just a... Uh, Absolutely beautiful all-round tent. Dogs about to start barking, so we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching.